I'm here because there's a lot of negative stereotypes about musicians, athletes, actors, etc. But I'm here today to let you know that there are so many that live clean and healthy lifestyles. They're still successful, they are still respected, and they're still cool. Pally's Birdies High School was my first high school I ever did. Um, it was in November. 3,000 kids. And when I got there, there was always signs hanging up, you know, it's usually like saying, I mean, I don't know, I haven't been in high school in years really, but say no to drugs, or don't do this and that. There was like anti-cocaine, anti-heroin. You know, the kids were really silent when I was speaking, you know, they paid attention, you know, then when it came to asking questions, there was a lot of questions like, you, you're not straight. They're calling me out basically, you know? And a lot of the kids, you know, a lot of kids listen, but a lot of kids had a lot, a lot of questions. Is your son straight edge? My, so my son is straight edge, yes. He's seven years old, man, come on. <laughs> Well, I wasn't quite sure what to expect. I knew that it would have a strong impact uh, on our campus, but I, I didn't know that he would exceed my expectations. And uh, the kids were into it. They were listening, they were involved, and I think it made an amazing difference in the lives of the kids here today. Don't you guys think, don't you guys, think you guys could be focused doing what you want to do with your life and not being wasted, right? Does that make sense? It just makes sense. You see how many people die that we lost in this world from drug addiction. It's facts. I'm not telling you lies. I'm not making up stories. It's just the truth. More questions? Break dancing. Break dancing. I'll battle you right now. Want to battle? Yeah. Want to battle? I'll battle you right now. I'll battle you right now. Yeah. Who else? I was break dancing before you were born. All right. That's a, give, me, give me a shirt though. Before I went in there, I was kind of just like iffy on just like, like whether everything is good or bad. But now I'm kind of like mainly against it, and I'm really considering going straight edge. Quite the story, really. I mean, I don't know if I could have gone an entire lifetime being straight edge. It seems pretty impossible. Why do you think it's impossible? Just peer pressure and no, because it permeates every facet of society. You know, you look at anything today, you're going to see drugs, drinking. Can't even watch a football game without seeing six, seven, eight, nine, ten beer commercials. Yeah. I, I've always looked up to people that are straight edge and not really going into, like, going into drugs and alcohol just because everybody else is doing it. I thought it was kind of impressive how he's like a musical artist and he's surrounded by like drugs and alcohol all the time and he's like completely straight edge. Put your hand there like this. Put your finger up. Everybody, I came really far for this. Put your hand up. And I want you to say one life, one chance, super loud, louder than the last class that came in. You guys ready? One life, one chance. Ready? Go. One life, one chance. Amazing. Thank you very much. My name is Toby Morris. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it.